Dine now for MTN Sports Extra with Casey Conlon. Ty Erickson's wild ride last night was one of the crazier things you'll see at the National Finals Rodeo, but while it was entertaining, it put him in a big hole coming into the final round tonight. But as Scott Green tells us, he's not dead yet. Hello again and welcome back to our All Access coverage where the pressure explodes tonight from 10 rounds at the National Finals Rodeo. Okay, here's what we have. Helena's Ty Erickson has owned the regular season. He has owned this NFR on the steer wrestling. But last night, this bad break cost him the average lead and dropped him to seventh in the average. Erickson still leads the world, but Tyler Pearson is now projected to win it all. That would be a crushing blow to Erickson, who's really had an immaculate season in the chase for his first gold buckle. It all comes down to a few seconds tonight, just a couple hours from now, Ty Erickson is still in contention to win the steer wrestling championship. Same story for Brody Kress. The 21-year-old Wyoming rookie graduates college tonight at Tarleston State, but he'll be right here inside the arena trying to tip the saddle bronc world upside down by winning a title in his rookie season. The only guy standing between him and a life-changing world title is Utah's Ryder Wright. We're down here to show you how both those races finish along with all your other world title winners tonight. We can tell you Tim O'Connell last night clinched his second straight bareback championship. All right, there you have it. Let's dance. Tonight in sports, we'll bring you round 10 from the National Finals Rodeo. In Las Vegas, Scott Breen, MTN Sports. Thanks, Scott. So here's how those two races look right now. Again, Erickson still leads the world standings, but when you look at the projected numbers with factors in the NFR average, he would finish second behind Tyler Pearson tonight with Dakota Eldridge right in there as well. Erickson's going to need to finish high tonight and then hope for some misses or at least some low times from those other two. Elsewhere in your saddle bronc, Ryder Wright leads Brody Crest by about $69,000. Crest first in the average, but that difference about $35,000. So he's going to need to make up some ground tonight and hope that Wright falls to bring home his title.